Good morning, Ms. Riley. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Hayden Cinnamon. Uh, I'm the Battalion Commander at the Grizzly Battalion. Uh, I'll be briefing you on our service learning project. Uh, we uh, worked with um, the Counter Drug Task Force uh, in Granger County, um, and it was over a drug and alcohol abuse symposium. These are our key players um, of our service learning committee. Listed are the drug tops that uh, we briefed on and their briefers. Granger County previously led the state in meth production. Uh, so Granger County and the TBI, uh, they joined together and uh, conducted several sting operations and uh, they had numerous arrests. Uh, this project increased our community's awareness of drug and alcohol abuse and the damage to our community. Uh, here's some demographics of Granger County. Um, DUI cases involved with drugs were at 38.9% and DUI cases involved with alcohol were at 55.6%. This number right here, this 19.3% was a big number for us. Um, it had raised up, uh, those drug cases had, has kind of raised up. Um, so we seen that number and we thought, okay, there's a big problem in our community, let's address it, let's take care of it. This project uh, integrated multiple aspects of research, integration of information, team building, verbal communication skills, but it also gave, a, gave our cadets an opportunity to showcase their leadership abilities with their teams. Uh, here are the key curriculums that we used in our service learning project. Uh, here are the competencies uh, that were used during the service learning project. Uh, so how we conducted um, our project is we picked the drugs that we wanted to address and that were a big problem in our community and each company was split up into that certain drug, three to five cadets. Um, and once we split them up, they had their own board for each company, uh, or they had their own board for each drug, and then they researched that information and posted it up on those boards. After we got all the information that we needed, uh, each team came together and briefed. Uh, Colonel Lynn was there and sat in on it um, and listened to us brief uh, with our public speaking skills. Uh, at that time, after that, me and our command sergeant major, uh, we looked over each of the videos because we recorded it at that time also. Um, we looked over each video and picked out the best briefers uh, for each drug to hold a final, final, uh, a final video briefing for the final um, video. Emily Klesnick and Kelly Welch to the office for a moment, please. This service learning project met all our guidelines. Uh, the ways we can improve is um, on our leadership and organization skills. This is our timeline from initial conception to the completion of the project. Uh, that final video briefing, uh, we have, uh, we're going to disperse that to our um, surrounding schools on April 11th. Uh, here's the ev evidence that defines our service learning goals. Uh, we educate not just ourselves, but other cadets and other students in the school. Uh, we continue to enhance our leadership development throughout this project. Here are the curriculum com competencies and the outcomes for the project. Here are the specifics for the project itself. These are the 
outcomes of the after action review, we had several cadets say that the project was worthwhile and rewarding. I myself learned quite a bit um, from not just my drug, but other drugs. Uh, there's a crazy amount of things that we learned. Uh, Charlie Company mentioned that it would be nice to incorporate other emergency services such as EMS. Give us a little background information on the things that they do for drugs and alcohol. These are the following slides that show the briefers for each drug. Everyone in the battalion did brief. Um, the cadets in the photos were specifically chosen um, between me and the command sergeant major. Uh, here's the drug methamphetamine in their briefers. Marijuana. LSD. Alcohol. Heroin. Cocaine. Here's a small excerpt that we'd like to show you in the service learning video. Is it chemical or marijuana? THC is absorbed into the body more slowly when a person eats or drinks it. In that case, they generally feel the effects after 30 minutes to an hour. THC acts on specific brain cell receptors that can normally react to THC like chemicals. These chemicals play a role in brain development and function. THC overactivates parts of the brain with the highest number of these receptors. This causes the high that people feel. Other effects include altered senses like seeing brighter colors, change in mood, impaired body movement, and memory. Difficult. We have uh, the briefers of cocaine in their board uh, in here at this moment. If you'd like to talk to them at some point, um, our S3 Megan Wattel uh, went over cocaine in her video. I have a question before you move on. Are the other videos uploaded to your YouTube channel? Um, so we have it on a flash drive right now. Uh, so with our director of school, uh, pass, his passing away, we, uh, we're trying to get in contact with central office. Uh, that way we can post it on the Greenville County Schools website. Or their website and YouTube. Uh, these are the outcomes of the after action review among the core cadets. Uh, the cadets improved significantly as they practiced their public speaking skills. Uh, this was a big part for our cadets. Um, advanced cadets needed to provide a little bit more supervision of their team members. service learning project, these are the critical skills both individual and collective that was gained in this experience. Here's some of the additional results uh, of our service learning project. Based upon the results of our service learning project, uh, here's some possible uh, ideas that we could use for uh, improving it. Ma'am, at this time, do you have any pending questions? <clears throat> what was your greatest takeaway? and doing the research for your specific drugs? Our biggest takeaway? Um, probably, we didn't realize, so as students, we don't really realize how big of an impact drugs take on our, take on our community. Um, and some cadets that live in better parts of our county don't really realize that either. Um, so when we started getting all this information coming in, especially from our community, it was real eye-opening for us. Um, and we didn't realize you know, what was happening. So just for us to realize, okay, this is happening in our area uh, and we can do something about it or even help to do something about it. So when you say happening in our area, tell me what's happening. Um, is, it, is it affecting kids coming to school? Is it affecting people being able to be productive? Like I saw your stats and I saw the unemployment because of that, the DUI. Yeah, just a general question. Well, ma'am, with a lot of, uh, students' parents being at home and unemployed, 
um, you know, our area doesn't have a lot of money, so you know those people lean towards drugs, and those, you know, we have students that their parents do drugs, and the thing is, they can learn about what is happening in their home and maybe change that and get those numbers to decrease. Savannah Collins and Elizabeth Dalton to the office for a moment, please. <coughs> The way I would do it differently is instead of the boards, I would probably do a slideshow presentation. Um, that way we can work on it. So each each company shared a board. So if we could have our own for each drug, I think that would help. Time staff, attention. Ms. Riley, I'd like to present you with our full video. Uh, this holds all the drugs um, that we went over, um, so you can watch over that. But at this time, we'll transition from our battalion staff to our interviewees. Do you mind? And I mean, sir, do you mind if I put this on the Brigade's Facebook page? No, ma'am, it's and fine. send it out to that's the fine. website, the JRTC website? Yeah, we just got authorization from Central Office. Oh, so, okay. uh, and, and that, that's fine. Okay. We're, uh, uh, you know, they, they did a, a great job. Our, our, our video extraordinaire over there, Ms. Johnson, did a, did a great job. Her crew just, just filming it and, and the rehearsal process and everything. It was pretty thorough. I love it. I did enjoy it. That's one of the reasons why I was asking. Um, thank you. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to fall out. Fall out onto the other side of the classroom. <laughs> 